Okay, so today we're going to do a uh, wheel stud replacement on this is an 06 Lexus GX470, but it works with most Toyotas, um, Forerunners, Sequoias, Tundras, Tacomas. Uh, what we're doing is going to be taking off the caliper here with the two 17 millimeter bolts and the caliper um, brake line um, bracket uh, 10 millimeter bolt and we'll be suspending that up so it doesn't hang on this. Once that's off, we'll be taking the rotor off to get to the stud, um, knock that out, and replace that. Okay, now that we have the uh, caliper off, safely out of the way, uh, this was a 12 millimeter bolt, by the way, and the two ones for the um, um, caliper are 17 millimeter. Then I'm gonna take the um, rotor off, which might require me to tap it a bit. So we can go ahead and uh, pause the, the movie, the video. Okay, so we got this uh, tapped off and now we've got this rotor removed. And you can see down here, that is the broken bolt. And I will have to likely rotate that in a certain direction, we'll see, to um, be able to get the new one. And so, uh, once I start tapping, we can film again. Okay, so I went ahead and used a 32 ounce ball peen hammer. Um, 16 might work. Honestly, it only took about three or four taps. It was not a big deal. Um, not as bad as I anticipated. Um, there's the broken one right there. And then here is the uh, new Toyota one. Hold on. Right there. And so put that right in there and I'm gonna have to use some uh, of the lugs to, to pull that and I will um, do that and then I'll come back and explain okay so to um, get the uh, new lug tight I went ahead and put uh, an old longer lug on that I had from prior Toyota um, and just pretty much torqued it on with this uh, electric impact um, around the back it's completely flush so it is seated and now I'm ready to go ahead and remove that and reinstall everything. Okay, another thing to note real quick, a tip, is um, I, I'm going to go ahead and I put some lugs back on just to hold the rotor in place while I go ahead and put the caliper back on. This is also a good time to use some anti-seize on the threads as well. I'm not sure, but I believe that one of my lugs, um, one of my old lugs, I think might have gotten a bit corroded inside I certainly have not over torqued them and it fused on and when I was rotating tires uh, a week ago it you know when it snapped off that bolt so uh, I've never used anti-seize on these before and I think I have a bunch of new lugs here um, with new threads I'm going to go ahead and put anti-seize on as well